He's such a professional. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind. Ah. Take that oh, back. Really? <laughs> Just make it! Hey, welcome back to another episode of my Helltail Challenge. I'm Dr. Gluon. This is Basil. Uh, wondering if uh, buying this hotel was a good idea. Oh boy. <laughs> You're fine. Here we go. It is midnight and, uh, you know, we just figured out how much money we had made the night before. We are currently at 891 simoleons, which is pretty sweet. Uh, again, for the, anyone who's watching this for the first time, this is a challenge where I only control Basil, the manager. Everybody else is just kind of doing their own thing and... Uh, the idea is we got to keep them happy and alive. Uh, we do have a new guest, though, because we lost Ant Ant One, that uh, that mysterious pixies type fella that uh, was hanging about. I think in this room, and and he left the hotel. He he had checked out, but we had a new guest come in, another pixie type person from the forest. So we're very we're very popular with the forest pixies. I think you know all the. We've got some good ratings in the mysterious forest because they're all coming by now. So there she is. I think this is um, Haley, the, uh, the fairy. It's <laughs> cool. Uh, who are you? Who are you? Oh, I've <laughs> never seen you in that outfit before. Did you go up? Did you go? Did you leave and come back? What are you doing? All right. Um, how are we doing? Everyone's awake. Basil needs fun. Let's go ahead and put you to uh, bed. Go to sleep, dude. He's not that tired. He just needs fun, honestly. But no time for fun when you sleep. Why is she dazed? Um, I don't know. She's happy now, so. Last night's dinner. There we go. She's like, oh my god, food. Last night's dinner. How much is left of the salad? It's, you know, it's past midnight, but she just got here. You know, she just checked in. You don't want to check in. You want to check in and then like you want to hope there's some more dinner left over so she's good she can eat it's all good just drop your plates off in here when you're done oh i was gonna say um because we've kind of been doing we haven't been doing great at keeping to our schedule mostly because he's been constantly he's been basically so uncomfortable he can't do really anything but we've made a switch he's no longer squeamish basil's no longer squeamish he is not squeamish. I don't know what else he is now. We changed it from squeamish to snob. He's a snob now. So since he's no longer squeamish, and hopefully he's able to do more than nothing, um, if we don't make our schedule, and the schedule again is 6 o'clock is breakfast, 3 to 5 is tender bar, 6 o'clock is dinner. If we miss any of those and we're an hour late... We take a hundred simoleon penalty. I'm saying that right now. That might change. But that's what we're going to say right now. Okay? Okay? We, we just weren't able to tend the bar because he was so... He was so uncomfortable constantly. But that's because he was squeamish and this place is not really made for anyone who's squeamish. <laughs> it's definitely not a squeamish environment. Uh, with all the rats and whatnot everywhere. So... Anyway, let's sleep until like... You know, 5.30. So we have time for breakfast. You okay? Where am I? I don't know. I've forgotten everything. Go to sleep. Everyone go to sleep. Stop wandering about. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Everyone go to sleep. How, how are you doing? You're asleep. In the bathtub. <laughs> That's not your room. That's not your room. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what I think's happening? I don't, well, I guess you're okay. I'm not sure if their beds are becoming unassigned every time I switch up the, um, when I bring in someone new. I don't know. Hang on. Does it tell me who's assigned to this bed? Who's assigned here? It should be you, right? You're assigned to that bed. Who's assigned to this bed? If I hover over it, it should, it should tell me, right? Oh my gosh, I don't think it's telling me. <laughs> oh boy. Um, okay. I might have to do this every time. Oh, not you. That's not you. That's not you. Dang it. That's the wrong person. You're this one. All right. And 
Because they're all like sleeping in weird spots or not sleeping at all. And you're sleeping in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, you're over here. Right. And then... Where is uh, Disco Dave at? He's over here. In this bed here. All right. And you're already in your bed, so I'm assuming you're okay. But let me just... Just for safety. Do that as well. I think I got them all now. I think we're good. Okay. Um, and then you as well, just in case. Okay. So hopefully they're good now. I might just need to remember to do that. I don't know. I don't know if it's happened, but it seems like everyone just doesn't sleep in their bed. When I when I reload, you know, that that's getting unchecked. So just so I gotta check on. Man, they're all very hungry. Well, I mean, like, she's gonna use the bathroom. Can she get in there? Can she get in the bathroom? She's gone for it. Sweet. Wait, there's no one in there. There's no one in there. What is she saying? Where you at? Are you over here? You also need to use the bathroom. There's at least two ghosts. But this, this place is haunted as well. Oh no. Oh boy. Wait, who's this? Oh, it's, it's the repair lady. I thought it was Tina for a second. I think Tina's gone. I think Tina's left. She was free to go. And actually, let me unlock this now. So if she wants to come back for some reason, she, she's welcome to. Well, she's a repair ghost, though. So should she not repair stuff? How are we looking? Anyway, that's still broken. That's still broken. That's still broken. I definitely got to get in and fix all these TVs. That one's okay. That one. That one's broken. Um, that one's broken. All the TVs are broken. Mm. Okay. I gotta get in and, uh... Oh, you know what? I don't think the repair peeps can get into these spots. What time is it now? It's 4.30. You know I've had enough sleep. Let's just start... Let's just start up here. Yeah, that one's good. And fix these TVs. The best I can. Here we go. No one's in this room, so I can sneak in here. I've got time. Fix the TV real quick. And then head down and make uh, breakfast. I've got time. Hey! You're supposed to be a repair person! Don't break it! Dang it! Alright, don't die. What's up with Pescalad? Because obviously getting this to 10 would be, a gr would be great. It's 5. Alright. You've got like... You've got like half an hour to fix this, dude. Just saying. You know? Yay! Yay! Uh. We did it! Alright, one TV down. Six more to go. Okay, uh, let's go make breakfast. It's breakfast time. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that one. Oh, you know what? I should buy myself a new stove. We got money. Wait, though. When the bills do. <sighs> Let's let's not do that. Uh, let's um, let's just give everyone a fruit salad for breakfast tonight. Uh, for, uh, breakfast this morning. What time is it? I have no idea anymore. All right, go on. He's so tense. He needs social and fun, and he's hungry. Uh, come on. Let me just move that guy onto the floor where it belongs. Okay. Who put that there anyway? I put it on the uh, the buffet table. They ate all the salad though. That's good. That's all done. All right, it's six o'clock. Time for breakfast. Time to make breakfast. We're good. We're still good. I've got until seven o'clock to make it. I think. We just, we just, we just have to make breakfast. Yeah, it's six o'clock. They had to eat breakfast before noon, okay? Uh, ooh. Uh, uh. Is that okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> it takes like two hours to make breakfast. Oh, uh, because it it caught fire. It was on fire. There we go. He's such a professional. Uh, 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 <laughs> Don't mind. Uh, Take that back. Uh, really? Uh, Just make it! Stop!
stop doing all these fancy tricks. You don't have to do that. You stop doing that. Stop it. Just pour it in a bowl. It doesn't need to be super fancy. There we go. Oh. Staying at the hotel red bar in. Oh, that's great. Mark the left leg of bars. One fun do these ours Fuzzy meat and pugar Fun do these ours This is great This is great <laughs> Staying at the Red Bar Hell Hotel, hotel. You're, You're going to who have a Great time here We've got HBO and some kind of internet connection at the Red Bar. Oh, oh, it's finished. Sorry, I was, I was getting to that. Oh, the singing was adequate. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it was lovely. That's some lovely singing. Everyone get some fruit salad breakfast. Fruit salad. By Joe, fruit salad again. Well, come on! Give me something oh. interesting! Mm. Yeah, well, I guess I can't complain. It's part of the package. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I must say, though, uh, even though I've uh, had this every day, I do enjoy a good fruit salad. And bananas, and grapes, some kind of uh, melon in there, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. He likes it. He's, he's complaining. Because that's all they eat every breakfast. But the, my stove broke, okay? I'm, I'm, when do the bills come in? There you go. Oh, fruit salad. <laughs> they just come down. They just kind of come down, you know? In the morning and uh, enjoy some fruit salad <laughs> that I placed out here. Let's go down here and do some, do some laundry. Is this good? Put away. Clean and dry. Here we go. He needs some fun, though. He needs some social. Also, we definitely need to do this guy, our aspiration. We've only met one person. It turns out people that uh, live in our house, or I guess stay in our hotel, don't count for this guy. So we have to meet nine people, not not people in our hotel. Uh, all right. Oh, boy, the rats are down here. Um, look at that. There we go. Fresh. Uh, yeah, put, put a trap there, man. <laughs> put a trap there. It's okay. It's okay. The trap in there. All right, let's um, let's search these pockets as well. Like he evilly laughs when he does that. Mmm, stanky. All right, search those pockets too. Any extra monies will be will be very helpful. We we'll do this, and then we'll uh, see if we can meet somebody. You know, oh, we got a bunch of money here. That one's good. Search this one. Search that one as well. I think we can get this all into one load. Do you think? Maybe. He's got to do the laundry as well. Yeah, yeah. of course. I had to wash the machine. One of the machines is broken too. Oh man, there's like laundry everywhere too. So he's got to go upstairs and find the rest of it. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Don't, uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> He's stealing money for the. Hey, look! If, if they leave money in their pocket and they throw that pocket, they throw their clothes down the chute. I'm taking it as a tip. Oh man, there's actually I forgot there's one there too. <laughs> buddy, it's Buddy Day tomorrow. It's a holiday, so that should be fun. We should have a grand meal, maybe. Oh, that's bro this is broken. Oh dang it! Oh man, do I do I get another repair person? Wait, those clothing went there? Uh -oh. They're talking about their experience. They're writing books about their experience here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, you. Can I meet you? Meet the mail lady. 
I need to be. I need to make friends. Wait, come back. Come back, my old lady. I gotta make friends. You a friend? Help me. <laughs> oh great, this guy wants to talk to me. Oh jeez. <laughs> it's a repair person roulette. Talk to the mail lady. Where are you going? Yas, let me talk to the mail lady. <laughs> no, no. Disco Dave, where are you going? Where's Disco Dave going? Is he? Disco Dave down. Disco Dave. Disco Dave down. Oh, God. Oh, you underwear. Oh. Disco Dave, no. Hey, so, uh, how's it going? Uh, Oh, man, it's tough, you know, one in this uh, hotel and the gas are constantly on my back about things. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, oh, for goodness uh, sake, don't let me get go the... What are you yelling at the mail lady for? You're ripping a friend. Alright, uh, just vent. Vent at the... <laughs> really get... Really vent. Hang on, what's going on over here? Alright, yeah, what have you found in this, uh, this metal box here? Anything interesting? Oh, yes, man. I'm looking for, like, a disco ball or something, you know, something can spruce up the, uh, the hotel with, you know. There's not enough disco here. Well, yes, uh, there isn't enough disco here, that's for dang sure. Maybe I'll find something in this metal box. It's, uh, it's like a disco, Vlad. <laughs> what did... What did Basil say to her? What did he say? Yeah, you're right. I really should be delivering mail faster. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you being mean? Jeez. All right. Um, let's check the mailbox. See what we got. Bills. Oh boy. Eight hundred and twenty-four simoleons. No, hang. Wait, what? How do I have a thousand? Oh, you know what it was. You know what it was? I think I think uh, Disco Dave found a bunch of money in in the uh, the trash can. Did he? He must have. There's no way I just made like 200 simoleons randomly. Did it tell me? Well, how did I make 200? No, he found like um, he found like an old omelet. If you can make 200 dollars for the laundry, you got 600 from laundry before. I had made 200 from the laundry. All right, well, I guess okay then. Whatever. If I made it from the laundry, I wasn't paying attention. I have a thousand. Okay, well, whatever. Well, the bills are so expensive, so we needed that, I guess. Huh? <laughs> All right, let's stop uh, pestering the poor male lady. Go, go and um, <laughs> there's 200 dollars in tips. Yeah. That's how they pay me in tips. Pay the bills. We need to keep the power on. Alright. There we go. Sweet. Now we're down to 200 bucks. That's okay. Um, I'm going to call a repair person over. And what else I also have to do is... It's something I don't remember to do each time. I've got to go in here and say allow access to employees as well. So that way the repair person can get up and uh, fix all those TVs as well. You know? So every time I reset these doors, I gotta make sure Basil can access them and obviously the guests can access them and the, the employees can access them. So. All right, let's call. Let's call up the uh, repair service. <laughs> See, if I'm thinking, it's I only have two hundred simoleons, but honestly, honestly, I probably want to live before I get before I pay them. So, I, I, I probably I probably won't have to pay them since they probably won't make it out of this hotel alive. That's my thinking anyway. Is that bad? Ethically, is that good? Is that okay? It's fine. I do. Alright. They're probably gonna die here. Um can I get a repair service? Oh here we go, repair service. Hey uh, let's go to another repair person. And, and this time send somebody who's gonna die. 
I'm getting a bad reputation here. All these repair people keep dying here. <laughs> Ghost in one, two, three. <laughs> it's fine. When they're coming over, um, they're going to be at 1.30. Perfect. Okay. That's in like five minutes. Um, what time is it now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Anybody else I can just meet? Oh, I haven't done the laundry yet, have I? I stopped to uh, talk to the mail person. Let's uh, throw this in the washing machine. Oh, no. Let's fill up now. Well, I guess this one's open, right? Oh, no. This was broken. That's what it is. It's a cursed lot. Yeah, it's cursed here. Um, the hotel was built on top of a ancient, you know, ancient ground. Don't worry, about the, don't worry about the mice. It's fine. Just, you know, focus on the fixing of the things. <laughs> Marley McCall. All right. I've heard, uh, I've heard, uh, rumors about this place. A pair of people come in and they never come out. It's fine. <laughs> um... Wait, what's that? It's Molly from chat. It's Molly from chat. Well, hopefully she's fine. Um, wait, what? What? There's a, there's a fire. What? What's happening? What? What? What the heck? Whoa! Dang! Jane Doe! Oh, no. Well, how did that catch on fire? What the heck is going on? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh I made 300 bucks though. How much did it cost to repair it? 1800 huh? simoleons. Uh... <laughs> Molly? <laughs> Molly, cool. where'd she go? She's supposed to be a professional. Lucky Jane Doe stepped in and fixed it. Boy, Joe, what happened here? Oh. Not the music. Oh no! It was really their only part, only uh, their only source of entertainment. <sighs> no. All right. Um. Hey, next time, could you not like cause fires? Thanks. Are you good? How's the how's the uh, hamster doing? Attention low. Oh man. Uh, play with. <laughs> Basil's going to bed. <laughs> Every time there's a fire, Basil's like, All right, I'm going to bed. Oh, shoot, I gotta tend the bar. He's tense, but uh, he can tend the bar, right? Tend the bar, here we go. <sighs> Almost missed it. Um. <laughs> she went out for the dollhouse. What? What? You're very tense now. Come on! No! I need you to tend the bar! <laughs> Come on! Tend the bar! Was there anything that could calm me down? He's very tense because of the rats. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. He's never gonna tend that bar. Put that there. Would that make you feel better? Maybe your whole thing. Uh, maybe uh, uh, get in the uh, the hot tub for a little bit. Relax. Relax in the hot tub. Just chillax in the hot tub. There we go. Yeah. Oh, now you see the bathroom. He wears a snorkel in the hot tub. He wears it. Well, I'm done with this. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to be able to tend the bar, which means, <laughs> according to my rule I made up just then, um, I'm going to have to take a hundred dollar, hundred simoleon penalty. Uh, so that's nuts. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dang it. Oh, man. 
Welp. You know, the good thing is, and I'm maybe a little unsensitive, but she died in the room that no one has access to right now, so no one saw that, and no one will see that. We're just like... <laughs> don't, go in don't go in there! You can't go in there! Just go, Dave! I heard screaming. No, no, you can't go in there! The doors are locked! The doors are locked! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, uh, I'm not tense, any I'm not very tense anymore, I'm just regular tense. Can we, can we tend the bar before six o'clock? Tend the bar. Tend the bar, dude, tend the bar. Maybe someone can have a drink. They died, yeah. We're just gonna have a bunch of repair peoples. I mean, the thing is... You might be like, well, just don't don't keep booking repair peeps. But also, if uh, she didn't die, then Basil probably would have died, you know? <laughs> also, why is she not in the costume anymore? Did she go for a swim? Did she go for a swim? <laughs> uh, no, keep calling people. She wants a repair person, yeah. Alright, we are going to tend the bar. I'm uncomfortable, but we are going to tend it. Alright, does anybody want a drink? <laughs> feel like we need a drink right now. Yeah, we'll do the outline. Anybody want to come by and get a drink? Nope, I guess he's still very tense. Okay, let's do dinner time now. I don't have enough. Oh, no, we paid the bills already, so... I shouldn't have to worry about that too much longer. I'm good at that. Hang on. This is, this is like... Yeah. We're gonna go... We're gonna do that, right? And then I have to take $100 off because of my uh, not tending the bar. It's part of the package that the bar is open from 3 to 5. And and uh, I haven't been doing that. So from now on, I have to take a $100 penalty uh, for not doing that. <laughs> right, but we have, a, we have a stove now, which is good. Let's uh, cook out, cook something, something simple, like a fruit salad, a ma uh, mac and cheese. Is that a good dinner? Let's do a franken bean. Let's do a franken bean. Hey man, listen. Um, oh my gosh, so so loud. All right, get back in your outfit. There we go. And you as well, Basil. Get back in your outfit. Don't walk around here with your swimsuits on. Um... La 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 uh, you know there's a trap. There's a trap here. Yeah, there's a trap there. Place a trap there. I think there might be one, another one on the other side of this cabinet. It is so loud and so bad. No, he can sing, he just can't sing it in his underwear. Also you. See, the thing is, they get in their swimsuits to go swimming, and then they just spend the rest of the day in their swimsuits. And it's like... Can you, like, wave over your outfits? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be that guy. Like, I think it's great that you think you can do magic tricks with the food. Just make the meal, Basil. Just make the meal. Ah, Hospa! <sighs> oh, Hasper! <laughs> don't, don't burn the place down! Don't burn the place down! Hasper! Basil, extinguish yourself, please. Uh... Oh, it somehow stayed fine. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, okay. I, what, what's happening? Uh, well, did the food go? Where did the food go? Did he burn the food? Where did the food go? I don't know what happened. I don't know why the countertop burned, but not the stove. I'm not complaining about that. But then the food went away. Uh, 
Let me make some... Oh, is it actually burnt? Is that what's going on here? Oh, because that thing's there. I don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Clean that up. Clean that up. Hey, Deli, how you doing? No, I don't think it's regular hair. I think it's... Um... Wait, what? Okay. Let's throw that away. Dinner is going to be whenever I can make dinner, okay? If I could get dinner done by midnight, good enough. Frank and Beans, let's go! <laughs> this would be the third stove. And we've been only open for, what, six days? So we're going for a stove every two days here. <laughs> but luckily this one survived, so that's good. Oh, is that like super loud or something? All right, please just make this without without causing a fire. He is so. It just basically he went from being so uncomfortable to so tense now. All right, we did it. We did it. All right, dinner's served. Though we need a vegetarian option. There are vegetarians staying here, so it's half done. You gotta have a salad. We gotta have a. I mean, it's also like we just have to have a salad. It's a, it's a main course and a salad is what we need to serve up for dinner. That's dinner. In the morning, it's a fruit salad and you know a main thing. Uh, sometimes just a fruit salad. Sometimes just a salad if you can get another thing done. <laughs> She's singing farmhouse. That's the way you're going. That's the way you're going. Here we are. Here's your, here's your vegetarian option. Enjoy. You know. Oh, he's done. He's done. But <laughs> Can we just like, just take a second um, and uh, note that um, in the time he, in, in the time he's been alive, which again, it's only been the six days. He's witnessed 11 fires. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's been a rough life. It's been a rough life. Hey, uh, you're not going to make that salad, are you? Can you make it like quickly? Everyone's going to bed now. That's a problem. Nine o'clock. They conk out. I don't conk out. Stay awake. You know, there's monsters everywhere. Ah, I'm going to bed. Whatever. Oh, okay. Um, Jane Doe. She's onto the toilets. Disco. Da oh, no. I'm Disco Dave. I love the disco music. Where is the disco music? I love the disco music. Oh, let's get some music here. Oh, I love the disco music. Now it's so good. This is basically going to be breakfast. Should... <laughs> My gosh, it's so loud. I'm going like, to go away over here to make it so loud. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> you, you ruined it to me. Go to bed, Disco Dave. Oh, jeez. Alright, um... <laughs> right, salad is available. Tonight's dinner is a lovely... Hang on. <clears throat> Tonight's dinner is being served in the dining hall. A lovely garden salad with some frankenbeans. That's garden salad and frankenbeans. So come on down to the dining hall. Thank you. There we go. So that's that's good. Some people are still awake for that, right? Most people are asleep. It's 10 o'clock at night. We really need to make sure that uh, somehow dinner's being served earlier in the day. 
Maybe starting dinner at six isn't working out for me. <laughs> Clara. <laughs> so you like my singing, eh? I'm a pleaver. Ah, you like it? I love your singing. Uh, soup too. I think oh, I think yeah. disco should come back. Come back? What do you mean? Disco never died in my book. No, no, no. Disco is a. Uh, it's always been a thing, eh? Oh, no. I didn't mean. I didn't mean that. I just. No one really like listens to it anymore. What? Hey, listen. Hey, you need anything? I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Hi, good night, Basil. I got the announcement. Oh, Frank and beans and garden salad. Do dinner instead of a. Do dinner instead of a. In bar time? Oh, yeah, it's true. Maybe we switch them, Brad. Actually, that's a good point. Maybe we should switch them. At 3 o'clock, I start the dinner. I start the dinner, and then at 6 o'clock, I tend the bar. We make a little switch. That makes sense, because we're already in here anyway. As are you okay? Are you, are you good, man? I'm bad. Go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, we'll switch them. That sounds better. Because if they're here, they can, you know, get a little drink. After they've eaten some dinner, you know. Alright, go to bed. I thought that, um, you know, the hamster might be kind of a... Another, like, wrinkle in the whole process. But everyone's just looking after the hamster for me, which is great. That's great. You know? Um... Something? My job! Bats in my room! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Well, I'm off to bed. <laughs> oh, nothing bad will happen there. You good? Alright. It is, uh, it is 11.42. It's 11.45 now. Guys, <laughs> have you made it to bedroom? Wait, get out of that bed! What are you doing? Bats is going to bed in the holiday room. <laughs> Bats, oh, you have your own bed! What are you doing? <laughs> you thought no one would notice. Oh man, come on, let me sleep in the holiday room. I should turn these guys on. This guy here. Oh, some beautiful snow there. And this one. What was this one? Ash? Confetti? This was, um... What was this one? Leaves? Cherry blossoms? No, it was like... Was it hearts? Maybe coming down? Hearts. That's nice, that's nice. And this one was Ash. Because it's the haunted room, you know? And I think this one was leaves. Oh, this, this one could be rain, actually. It's the rainforest. And this one was confetti. That's fun. That's fun. No worries, Haley. Good to have you here. All right, it's now midnight. Time to figure out how much we made during that last day. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we've calculated this last day we made 560 simoleons, giving us a grand total of uh, 599 simoleons right now. Sweet. Not too bad. We actually had no red bars. And then uh, Gerald Olivia, apparently uh, nothing phases him. He's sad because of his clothes are damp, but... Um, not too bad. We may have to, we might bring in, I mean, this is something, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, we might take into account the first or second mood it, and we could maybe do something with that, you know? But obviously sleeping doesn't count, but maybe the next one, like, that's a green, right? And uh, that's a yellow. You know, we might do something with that. I don't know uh, how we can calculate that or we can figure it out there, but that might be something that we can think about as an extra wrinkle in this whole thing. But as far as like needs go, everyone is pretty good. I mean, they're pretty much keeping up with their own needs. The only person that isn't is Basil because he's the one being pushed and pulled all around the hotel. And so he's a disaster. Like if we counted him, disaster. But he's the manager. So obviously it doesn't matter if he's doing bad. He's not paying himself to live here. So the guests are doing great. Basil's not doing great at all. <laughs> anyway, let's go to sleep. And everyone hopefully uh, go to sleep as well. <laughs> you know, she uh, Disco Dave is not tired at all. At some point, it'd be good to get a better bed for him. You know, pay for that. 
There's our repair ghost. Hopefully, you know, she uh, helps fix things. <laughs> helps fix this place. Well, that thing's uh, broken beyond repair, unfortunately, which means that that's why they're using this so many times. All the TVs are still broken, right? That's, that's broken. That's broken. That one's fixed. I only two TVs broken on this floor, which is good. And then on this floor, we have a broken, broken, broken. All TVs are broken on the other floor. <laughs> Gotta take care of these things. I'm just like not having any fun. No social. My social is just terrible right now. And I smell. But I definitely want to use that bath. Oh, no. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Well, I'm going to have to fix that. Our only toilet in this whole hotel was broken. So let's fix that. Can we make it unbreakable? No. Hotel maintenance is a real thing, you know? It's a constant, it's a constant struggle to, to keep things, uh, keep things working. <laughs> All right. Oh, very good, uh, Basil. This has been broken, but honestly, where is the disco music? I walk around wondering, where is it? Where is the disco music? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, you said that last time. And uh, the stereo is now broken, so I cannot listen to my, my disco music. <sighs> Come on, man. Do you want a one-star review? Uh, listen, I'm oh, sorry, man. I'll, I'll work on that. Oh, man. Just yelled up at the guests, you know? <laughs> Fix this guy. He is filthy, but uh, Disco Dave has occupied our shower. Also, why is, why is this here? Don't we have spots in the um, the hamper? I think Disco Dave just leaves his a lot his laundry everywhere. Oh, look at the holiday room. It's magical. <laughs> it's magical. I should have put these like effects outside the window. That way, you just see him outside. <laughs> All right, fix that guy. Can I get that guy fixed too? Can we just like just fix everything? In the haunted room while uh Gerald of Rivia sleeps. Oh yeah, we'll we'll use that right after. We're done with that. Shh. White man. He's sleeping. <laughs> He's trying to sleep. In his haunted room, under some like thick ash fall, and in the corner, uh, Basil's fixing the TV. <laughs> I think you are making too much food. You're making eight portions twice. Um, um, there's always food out. Yeah, there is. Well, I want to make sure there's a vegetarian option because some of the guests are vegetarian. And I don't want to just make vegetarian food. And also, I think it's kind of uh, true that you have, a, you know, salad and uh, and then a a main meal. You know. I gotta uh, gotta sleep. We're gonna change up the schedule a little bit though. Where at three o'clock I make the dinners, and at six o'clock, all right, that's it for my shower because I now need to make breakfast. It's breakfast time. And, uh, do I dare make? Uh, uh, you know what? Egg and toast. Here we go. See, last, this is last night's dinner. It's already gone bad. Well, that one's gone now and left. But uh, the dinner shouldn't last through the next day. Fruit salad is good enough. We've got to make something more than fruit salad, guys. These people are paying lots of money to stay here. <laughs> this is a complimentary breakfast. <laughs> There's a dead body in every room. <laughs> it says here on your brochure that um, each room comes with a dead body. Is that true? Yep, that's true. Every room someone has died in. So that's kind of a fun thing. Fun little thing there. 
you know? Maybe clean the tables first thing in the morning? Oh boy. Maybe. So like six o'clock we clean. Well, when is breakfast gonna be served? Listen, man. Um, we gotta clean all this up here. Clean up. There's just not enough hours in the day here. What if we did a family size serving of two instead of a party size? Does it take the same amount of time? I guess we could do that. Yeah, we'll just do two of those. This <laughs> is turning into the murder hotel. I mean, it already, already was a murder hotel to begin with. Yeah, maybe we do that. Two family sizes instead of two party sizes. That makes sense. You go to bed, Kim. Have a great night. Alright, uh... <laughs> clean all this up here. The salad is left over from last night's dinner. Um... But yeah, is it faster to cook that way? I've never known. I always thought it was the same amount of time either way. But maybe it is. It makes sense it would be, right? So we do a, we do a four servings of fruit salad, and then we we'll do a four servings of the uh, the eggs for the morning. <laughs> Let's see how long this takes. If we stop doing all the the fancy tricks, it might be uh, it might be fast, you know. You're also serving some cash, not uh, paying it. Paying for it. It comes with the hotel stay. It's complimentary dinner and breakfast. <laughs> Look, people wouldn't people wouldn't stay here uh, voluntarily, you know. I've got to like I've got to sell it somehow. This is actually faster. This is faster. I do not eat that though. Right. I don't know. Okay, so he always takes the first one. It's like, that's so. Uh... Do not eat that, Basil. Do not eat. That's for the guests. Here we are. Some food salad for you. You want to clean that one up? Man, Disco Dave, though. Can I get that for you? <laughs> Would you like a fruit salad, anybody? Is that good enough? Three things of fruit salad for the people? <laughs> Can I make a quick... A quick egg and toast as well? I figure people will eat it before dinner time. It's ten bucks. It's not too bad. Wash that up. Follow the rules, yes. I uh, know just type exploration point hotel to find out what the walls are um, and if you're watching this on YouTube if you look at the description it says it in the description all right go ahead and cook uh... I mean obviously like his needs uh... we gotta spend some time on Basil today once breakfast is done which is almost it's almost done by 10 o'clock it'll be done and then we'll have from 10 to 3 to just kind of take care of our needs here it's gonna be great. Just... Ugh. <laughs> no, maybe the fruit salad's good. Maybe the fruit salad's good. Maybe the fruit salad's good. Like, really? Maybe the fruit salad is fine. What's happening? Oh no. The force is after me. Ah! What's going on there? The forest peas have found me! Ah! Alright, well, <laughs> there are three things of fruit salad for you guys. Uh, okay, um, let's go take a shower now. I have some sort of breakfast available. Let's take a shower quickly before someone jumps in there. Is that carpet or something? No, it's just curse lot. And it's not a very good stove. I need to save up and get a you know a good stove. And he also has to become better at cooking too. So you're coming. You you coming to? There you go. 
Oh man, you got a pee pee too. Actually, hang on. Don't maybe just you do this one fast. Just go pee pee first. <laughs> you can offer some food out of this trying time. Get a grill instead of a stove. Well, does that like not catch fire as much? You know, I mean, obviously we gotta walk through it. No, we can't order pizza. Uh, Jane Doe, what are you doing? Get out of here! <laughs> Give me some privacy. The Red Bar Hotel is uh, named at least because <laughs> she's like, oh no. Well, I'm not gonna leave. Um, <laughs> enjoying the show, Jane. <laughs> You're enjoying it? Alright, that's good, okay. Um Let's put a let's put a thing there. Let's put a trap in there. Alright, he needs Apparently him catching on fire really zaps his energy. It's no good. So let's sleep until I guess sleep until three o'clock when I gotta make dinner. <laughs> many, many repair people. We do, you know what? I'm gonna order another repair person. Because he's not able to keep up with the repairs here. Basil can't keep up. Should I get... Should I get... A maid to come in and help us a little bit as well? You know? He's a broken man, guys. He's a broken man here. I think it's fine if we get a maid, right? Is it... Is it okay by the rules? The rules that I've created myself? <laughs> he needs a day vacation. Alright, another one of those. Okay. Did he book it or did he just give up? <laughs> please, 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 you need a maid. Alright, they're coming by. Um, let's get the maid as well. I mean, I do it myself, but obviously, like, it, 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 just, it just can't keep up with everything. And they cost money too, so... It's money that I need to keep the place open. All right, one time made. Let's go. All right, they're coming real quick. Hopefully, they can uh, they can sort that out. Okay. Now look, that's that's ordered. Go to sleep. Okay, the maid will be here at one o'clock, and the repair person will be here just before one as well. So, um, hopefully, while sleeping, you need a manual. <laughs> yes, I know. Um. <laughs> he didn't quite make it. So close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> could, could, you, could you go? So close, man. This is like Forger Towers, yes, basically. I need a manual. Yes, I do. Yes. Sorry, I misread that one. Yes, I do. You're right. Manuel! <laughs> Here we go! Oh! Wait, hang on. Oh, it's Elizabeth Swine. In another Let's Play, she was the queen. <laughs> in another universe, she's the queen of a ro of a royalty. In this Let's Play, she's a maid. <laughs> the rules mention no maid. You know, we're just, we're just, you know, we're just. I made up the rules. I can change them. I can change them. <laughs> Whoa! Well, oh, that's why it's bunny day today! Uh, Wait, is this the maid? Oh! It's bunny day in the hotel! <laughs> King Gluon makes the rules. <laughs> I can make the rules, I can break the rules. Hey, uh, bunny, could you take care of the broken stuff? I'll be that guy. <laughs> the rules mention a lot of things, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, listen guys, I mean, God, there's a lot going on here. Is she gonna take care of my laundry too? I figured she costs money, so... And she's not really doing anything. Um... I could do the laundry as well, um... It wouldn't be that good, but I am paying you, uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh how's the, um... She came down here with... Oh, I then left. Okay. What about my repair person? Are they here? Is the bunny my repair person? 
Oh, here they are. It is, um, I don't know who it is. I don't know who that is, but anyway, he's here. Um, do, 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 Sybil was um, his wife. There we go. Good, yeah. Clean up. Uh, yeah, fix that guy. That's been broken forever. All right. Uh, looks like you got a broken uh, dry there. Oh, she's mason here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, man. We got about we got a, we got everything going wrong. What time is it? It's now three o'clock. Hmm. Okay. Um. He's not gonna attend the bar. He's extremely huh? tense. You know what? Actually, we're gonna make food first anyway. But maybe just like, oh, never mind. Does <laughs> he like sing? Too tense to sing. Can he? Uh, can he hot tub his tenseness away? Can he take a shower? What's the funnest thing he can do right now? Ride a bike. But he doesn't have a bike. What else can we do? That's fun. What can he do? Oh, he can play a game with a computer. Is that fun? You don't have a bike, but you can play a game, maybe. Play like a really fun game. Practice singing. Play on the computer. Just do something. Um, I fabricated something cool for you last weekend because I think you're pretty cool. This is from Tina, by the way. The person we kidnapped. Can I, yeah, you can definitely come. Sh yeah, come over and show me, Tina. I'm surprised you've come back, honestly. <laughs> um, uh, I wanted to let her in, but I'm using the computer right now, you know. Uh, all right, let her in, I guess. Well, I guess I, we can talk to her. Is Tina coming on to us? All right, the maid is done. That costs us a hundred bucks. I mean, it costs us money, so it's not like. Even though, like, you know, it's like, uh, we, you know, not supposed to get a maid. It did cost us money, so it's, you know, all penalized with money. And a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. All right. Hey, Basil. Sorry, I wanted to come over and say hi. I, I, I like hanging out at your hotel. It's cool. That's the broken stuff and ghosts and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, fine. Come on in then. All right, come on in. All right, we've got to make dinner now, which will just be a salad this time. Because, uh, we have nothing left. <laughs> Make a salad. You know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here, do you mind if I hang around a bit? How has your day been? How's my day been, Tina? It's been a disaster. Let's see what are doing anyway. Wait, she gave the wait. She gave the disc. She gave the uh, fabricator thing to Disco. Disco Dave got an upgrade part. Uh, should I lock the door again? I feel like I was kind of hanging outside the hotel. Tina has a wife. <laughs> Get a microwave for cooking. Oh, is that what we do? We now just microwave our meals. I mean, guess it's better than just salads. <laughs> all right, all right, get that done. Lock them in. It's great. Look, look at this dinner by six. Holy moly! All right, dinner is served. It's just salad today. Sorry, we've had some problems in the kitchen. Um. <laughs> Uh, we have problems in the kitchen every every day. <laughs> every day we have problems in the kitchen. It's doing great though. He's very sad, but he's not tense. It's not that tense. Alright, you know what? It is now 6 o'clock, so let's go ahead and tend the bar. We are going to now actually tend the bar for once. I don't know if that like, will call people in here. My hope is that uh, people will come in and have a drink. 
Usually people go to the bar to like, you know, talk to uh, the bartender. No, 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 no. Tend the bar. Tend the bar. But yet, he's the one who has all the problems, you know? We don't call them meal. They just can eat if they want to. Anybody want a drink or something? Anybody? If I could just serve one drink. Man, he just like wants to not tend the bar. He's so sad and also tired. Hey, do you want a drink? You, you want a drink? I'm, I'm just behind the bar now. I'm the, <laughs> he's, in his, he's so tired. No, tend the bar. No, oh, geez. Well, I mean, he did tend it, though. I mean, to be fair. Nobody wanted a drink, but he was tending it. Should we, like... Should we practice making a drink? Should we make a drink? You know what? Let's make a drink for somebody. Let's make a drink uh, for um, uh, the the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Let's make a drink for the Easter Bunny. What the? What's happening up here? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. How you doing? He's still alive, which is great. He's also taking care of my mouth problem, which is also good. I think I just have this guy hide on, you know, permanently until he, until he dies, of course. Anybody else want a drink? Oh, so yeah, tend the bar after that. Oh, look at this. Dang, for the Easter Bunny. It's fancy. Come on, people. Order a drink. I'm tending the bar now. Come on. Order something. Yeah, here we go. No, no, come back, come back, come back. You're tired, I know, but it's seven o'clock. It's eight o'clock. People need to, you know, time to rewind and have a bit of a drink. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> this mysterious person hanging out in the uh, in the lounge, drinking their old fashioned. Yeah, but it's been a long bunny day. <coughs> All right, well, Basil's going to bed now. He is so tired. No one actually, no one wanted a drink on their own. I just offered a drink for the Easter Bunny. Hopefully we get, you know, more people enjoying the, the bar life. He wakes up at like six o'clock and then of course he sees a bunch of fires, which also make him really, really tired. All right, what is he? Right, Basil, go to sleep. Huh? I'm surprised this guy's still alive. Amazing. How much is it going to cost me if he survives the whole day, though? <laughs> it's going to be expensive. All these TVs are fixed now. Every TV is fixed up here. Oh. And then what about these ones? That one's fixed. That one's fixed. All my TVs are fixed. Holy moly. All the TVs are fixed. Obviously, this is broken, but needs to be replaced because that one's permanently broken. I think everything is fixed. I think. Hang on, is this fixed? <gasps> he fixed it as well. Dang. Holy moly. Wow. We do not have one broken thing in this whole hotel. Put that in the brochure. Now. Nothing is broken. <laughs> and the guy survived too. Does that mean I gotta pay him? Oh my gosh, how much is this gonna cost? I kind of like, it's a bit of a gamble, you know? Also, could you like, could you go home? Because I'm paying you by the hour now, dude. <laughs> it's only took four prepared people. <laughs> mm, yep, I have set up here, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wait till the clock uh, runs out. Uh, maximum money. Yeah, the sinks are fixed. The toilet's fixed. Oh, what the Grim Reaper in the uh, in the ghost room? This is the ghost room. So um, this is the murder room over here. It's fun, you know. We're going to let Basil sleep the rest of the night, and um, at midnight, of course, we then calculate how much money we made this day. 
But I think it's really good. I think uh, we've had a good day. I mean, Basil's had a terrible day, but that's again, that's just kind of like, that's part of it. He always has bad days. Go clean that up. <laughs> He's the buddy. It was 200 bucks. Oh man, so with a maid. Man, if I join you. Mm, sell it again. With the maid and the repair person, we just spent 300 simoleons on um, on repairs and cleaning today. <laughs> well, it's that's broken uh, upon repair. It's, it's burnt up, so we're going to have to replace that guy, unfortunately. <laughs> um, same with uh, these guys. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to replace them. So that's gonna cost more money than two hundred bucks. All right, it is now midnight. So oh, just about there we go. It's now midnight. So let's calculate how much money we made today. How many red bars, green bars, yellow bars, and orange bars we got? I think we did well. Let's see though. Let's find out. All right, so we didn't do too bad. We did have a few red bars though. We made 505 simoleons today, giving us a grand total of 873 in our in our inventory. So not too bad. You know, you had some red there. D uh, Disco Dave has one red bar, uh, but the most part, most mostly good, mostly good. Yeah, the guests are happy. They just they don't see what's happening behind the scenes basil is dying here trying to keep this place nice for them they don't see it they live in the pool they're dancing they're eating basil's the one running around struggling but uh yeah so far so good we haven't done anything for our aspiration that's the tough thing that's the thing we need to start doing is the aspiration Started banging, chipping away at that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Till next time. Bye-bye.